Welcome back, Star Wars Detectors. Hope you're having a glorious day today. In between all of your whining about LEGO Star Wars, I'm kidding, of course. But what I'm not kidding about is the fact that Clark and I have been doing live streams in the mornings pretty much every day. And last week, we just went ahead and defeated the LEGO Star Wars backlog. As you can see here, the Star Wars backlog was not overly extensive. In fact, the first set that we built last week was a set that we literally got over the weekend. This is LEGO Star Wars set 75319. This is the Armorer's Mandalorian Forge, 258 pieces, $30 at Target. Ended up getting $10 gift card for spending $50 because I bought some other stuff too. And uh, I think this set was totally worth $20. What do you think, Clark, man? Obviously he's playing with... The Mandalorian. What do you? What can you tell us about this set, my guy? You were the one that built it. So. Everyone has black heads. Oh my goodness! <laughs> if you want nightmares? Oh. Pull their helmets off because they're all the same way. Speaking of minifigs, this is probably the reason to get this set because no, not <laughs> that. Stop showing that. Traumatized. Oh no, he's gonna. Do it again. He did it again. Hey, let's put the minifigs out here so we can show them off because for me that was the main reason I bought this set. Not only is Clark Man a huge Mandalorian fan, but. The minifigs from this set are absolutely on point. You got Mando, Beskar Mando. This is Paz Vizsla, I think. Oh goodness, the Star Wars Hectors are already mad at me for my joke earlier. And then we've got the Armorer. And I think Clark and my personal favorite is both this one, but I think this is neat too. So you got yourself a little bit of a Mandalorian battle pack here at the right price of $30, but you, you guys are used to that, right? Mm -hmm. What else is in this set, Clark, man? We got the... Beskar cooking. The Beskar cooking. Oh goodness, I dropped some Beskar. That's Be worth a the lot Beskar of is burning. <laughs> Spoiler alert for Mandalorian season three. <laughs> <laughs> is that how the Mandalorian dies in season three? <laughs> the Beskar armor just just gets dumped on. I'm trying to focus on it. it this is. There's the Beskar. I'm doing my best, guys. There's the Beskar Q. All right, so the Beskar Q cooking there. You got the little hand thing that you can pick stuff up, I suppose, if you want to move this around. Uh, this little back section here is pretty neat too. You got some computer stuff there. There's a locker here essentially. Does that open up? Can't recall. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it does. Let me get you guys in there. You can see there's a, uh... oh my. Go, 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 go. There was an attempt. Go, 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 you got go. some like grips back there, I guess you'd call it. And then this over here is like a drill press of sorts. And I think that's pretty darn neat too. It doesn't actually function. The best car is right there but too. But you can totally see it. Yeah, there's some best car down there. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> but I think for a play set, this is really fun. Of course, you got three minifigs with it. It looks good. There's no filler, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's just a nice solid set for 30 bucks. And if you can get it for 20, that's even better. Clark gives it the seal of approval from the Clark man with a th two thumbs up on the Armorer's Mandalorian Forge, our favorite set that we built last week. Should have probably said that one for last, but we're going in the order that we built it in. This next one here, this is 75269. This is Duel on Mustafar. I think this is a great set. It's one that I picked up on Walmart clearance over the summer, or we picked up, I guess. We were both there. This one's fun for kids and adults alike because these guys can actually battle out here on their platforms and you can have actual battles. Let's see if we can spoil Star Wars Episode Three, Clark. Let's show them what happened in that episode. So they're having a lightsaber duel out here, and then Obi-Wan falls off, and he falls in the lava, and lo and behold, Obi-Wan Kenobi becomes Darth Vader in the new series, Star Wars What If. In that series, Anakin goes on and lives a very happy life as a... Daddy. Nerf herder. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much what happened in Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. You guys should totally watch that one. No, um, this guy actually falls off. Spoilers! Don't tell him what actually happened. But, um, yeah. It looks like Anakin ah. had the high ground, so he ended up winning. What do you think of this set, though, Clark? Man, $20 for this set? I think we got it for, like, 15 or less. Is it a buy? Yep. And look, see his little face. Oh, yeah, there's, like, a little robot face under there that Clark has been loving. You can kind of see it there with, like, its purple He's eyes. He's angry! Yeah, so there's Obi-Wan, Anakin. I'm not sure if we have these minifigs in any other sets, but for me, getting this on clear. <laughs> Obi-Wan loses every time. Every time. And Anakin flew away on his little powered robot. That's the director's cut. i The alternate ending. There's uh, set number two. And uh, we saved the best for last, guys. This is the one that you've all been waiting for. This is like, this was the appetizer. This was dinner. Mm. This right here is dessert. It's mm. the best part. This, of course, is Lego Star Wars set 75268. 
the four plus snow speeder. I'm sure it got hate from every Star Wars person that you watch on YouTube because they're not four plus. Don't trust the reviews of people that are grown adults reviewing four plus sets because they're not the demographic. This guy's, I guess raw four plus, but this guy's about as close as you can get without actually being four or five and I'm not sure what's going on down there. Believe it or not, Lego is actually made for kids, not just adults. And these sets are made for young builders that are just learning. So you should review it from that mindset, if that's possible. Anyways, I'll get off my soapbox here and stop my rant for Clarkman to show you what's in this set, starting with a snow speeder. And what's that guy that's on there, Clarkman? Snow trooper. You sure he's not a storm trooper? Ah! Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Clarkman actually called him a snow trooper. And Clark made an observation on this guy that was a little different from the other ones we have. What's the difference, Clarkman? He still has his black eyes. Yeah, they have uh, like eye spots on the helmet or the hood or whatever you want to call it that our old ones in our collection don't have. And this is the snow speeder. Maybe if we could set that down, it'd be like probably like 50 times easier for me to actually show off. But snow speeder, this also has a minifig in it. These sets have been played with already, of course. Is this guy, a, is he a stormtrooper? No. Are you sure? No. That's Wedge Antilles for the actual Star Wars I need to get away from the stormtrooper. Speaking of four plus, it's very hard to review a set with a four plus year old with you. Uh, this piece is just one solid piece under there. And the rest of this Clarkman build took him no time at all. In fact, he built this and, or half of this set and all of this in one morning before we went to school. This stuff right here, not really necessary, but when you are four plus, you not only want a ship, you not only want a speeder, you want a little bit of a playset to play with. And this is a playset in the smallest means. It's got some scruncher there. Let's show them what the special feature is look like. There you go, <laughs> he hit himself in the face with it. <laughs> that is the four plus snow speeder. I don't know the price of this. I got this like super clearanced out at Target. I think I paid $11 and for me, I got it just for the two minifigs. But if you're paying 20 bucks for this, I can see that being a little steep. But such is the life of a four plus Lego collector and builder. It's a great way to get started in the world of Lego and then you work your way up to seven plus. Then you work your way up to eight plus and you're only six years old. That's pretty darn cool. You can build that, that stuff. You can build anything that you put your mind to. I just realized we should have, oh, just got <laughs> shot. Should have wore your Star Wars shirt today. He had a, he has a Grogu sweatshirt. Uh, what else do you have? You got a Stormtrooper shirt. We wore them all during the live streams and now now we're wearing Minecraft in a Star Wars video. Star Wars detectors are triggered. But that is the end of the Star Wars backlog. Our th last three sets, other than one last one though, Clark, man. Mm -hmm. Should I tell them what it is or show them? Is that what you want me to tell them? Okay, well I'll show you guys. There is one last one left. That is, uh, it's, it's kind of brutal. This one's definitely not a morning build. This is more of a dad build. It's in here just waiting for me. This of course is the A-Wing Starfighter. This is 1,673 pieces. And that's gonna take me a bit to build. So Star Wars backlog, technically defeated if you're counting the journey that I'm on with Clark Man, but for my journey, it's only just begun. On that note, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Star Wars detectors, no hard feelings. Just jokes, guys, just jokes. Hope you have a glorious rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the review. And uh, most of all, hope to see you next video. Bye-bye. What's he gonna do? I was waiting for it. I was waiting, <laughs> swimming. <laughs> Roxy is like, what in the actual world is going on here? <laughs> What's your thoughts on the Mandalorian Forge, Roxy Bear? Was that a set you think you would buy if you were collecting or no? <laughs> it, it was a yeah. rough build. It was rough. <laughs>